All right, let's go ahead and do this. Again, if you're in your train of thought, you think you can do it on your own, go ahead and solve for it. So here's our train, right? It's coming up to an intersection. Maybe you're stopped, you're watching this train go by. He's gonna be accelerating as he goes through, speeding up. Um, the intersection's 20 meters. Take some, maybe you have your stopwatch, you're timing how long it takes, 2.4 seconds. And yeah, so here's your givens, 20, 1.6, 2.4, um, we're looking for the velocity as it passes through, so at the end. So, what do we do? Yeah, so if you notice, if you look in your equations, the four basic equations, there is um, one of the variables is in all four. The initial, right? And so you always have to find the initial if you haven't been given V initial, you have to solve for V initial first in order to solve it. Now you could actually derive a fifth equation with V initial, and I don't know why they didn't just make five standard kinematics equations instead of four, but um, you know, if you want to on your own time, derive it, that's fine. Um, but those will not be given to you on the test. So anyway, let's find V initial. So which equation is gonna work for us? Delta D, A, T, the initial. The one with the t squared? Yeah, delta d equals v naught t plus dt squared of 2. Alright, let's do that one. So delta d is 20. The initial is what we want. Time was 2.4 plus 1 half. 1.6, t squared was 2.4. Okay, go ahead and do the algebra. A lot of people mess up on this algebra from time to time. Can someone give me the number just for this? I'll do the algebra. 608, that's the second half right here. Okay, so then you're gonna subtract that, right? So. 20 minus 4.608 equals VO times 2.4. So this is what, 15.4 ish? Okay, equals VO times 2.4. Divide by 2.4. VO equals, what'd you say? 6.4, can we go to a third or is it 4.0? 4.1. Okay, so that's our initial. And by initial, we mean right here. So that's at this point in time, that's our speed, 6.41. Okay, and then he's gonna keep getting faster and faster. Now at this point, you can really use three equations to find V final, and you're stuck because you have to use V initial here. So I'm going to use this one. So V final equals 6.41, 1.6, What's our V? 10 point something? 10.25, so just go ahead and round it to 3. 10.3 meters per second at the intersection. Is that number confirmed, by the way? Yeah. So that's it right here, 10.3. Okay, and then let's just continue B. I know we're running out of time, so let's just kind of run through it. So it, we're gonna assume, unless it says otherwise, that he's still accelerating. So this is 10.3, A equals 1.6. Here's our V initial, 10.3, and we want to know V final this time, 32. So this second part, part B, is not really that hard. We just got to realize we're doing the second half of this journey. So I think we can use the same one, yeah? Plus yes. AT. So V final, 32. V initial, 10.3 plus A. Uh, 
Okay, 